Hello beautiful people, welcome once again to Kaniri Vlogs. It's so wonderful to have you here. Thank you, thank you so much for tuning in. Today I'm going to be showing you a few things that I do to prepare my uh, seedlings for spring. So what you see me doing right now is... Uh, putting together a DIY greenhouse this is a greenhouse that I have had for uh, a few years now you can it's so easy to assemble really and you can just um, put it up anywhere in your garden or in any kind of space that you have so it's so easy to assemble and uh, the reason why I'm assembling it at this particular time, it's because we are coming to the end of winter and uh, soon it's going to be spring. So I do have some seedlings which I planted nearly two months ago now. If you haven't watched my seedling sowing, please I will leave a link and uh, kindly do visit have a look at how I sowed my seeds and now is the time to do some transplanting so I have finished constructing my little greenhouse as you can see it comes with a plastic cover which is um, used to protect the the soil and also the seedlings from the harsh weather even though it's coming to the end of winter but it's still very cold and you you can't transplant directly to the ground to the ground because it is very cold and the seedlings may die so they need somewhere nice and warm and uh, they need to start getting used to the weather as well so this is a nice place to bring them out and cover them during the day or during the night when the weather is very cold but when you get a little bit of a sunshine it's good to just open the covers and let them have some fresh air and also soaking in some sunshine so the DIY greenhouse is ready and all the containers that I'll be using are ready waiting for the seedlings so next I'm gonna go inside and i will be doing my transplanting indoors because it is very cold outside and to be honest i wasn't prepared to go do this job out there in the cold so i'm doing it inside my house and uh, as you can see the seedlings have grown and they are ready for transplant they are very delicate and you need to be careful when you are transplanting your seedlings make sure they have a little bit of roots that uh, they can attach themselves to the soil I'm coming home. Leave open the gate. don't turn off the light I'm coming home. unfortunately I realized that I was doing this a little bit off camera but um yeah i i think you were able to see a little bit of what i was doing so this is my second container don't mind my containers as i said in my container gardening video which i did a while ago that you can use any type of container because uh, really the plants don't know they can't see which plant they are growing in it's only you who knows and it doesn't matter what type of a container you use as long as you have some holes underneath to let excess water out don't you worry about the container that you are using Though I fought with my claws and teeth Though I elbowed my way to So then uh, the next day I tried <laughs> I gathered some courage and I went to finish off the transplanting 
outside and oh my god it was very very cold my fingers were freezing this is a job that i couldn't do with my gloves on my gardening gloves on because the seedlings were so delicate and fragile and i could not hold them with my gloves on so i had to remove my gloves and get my hands all cold and dirty nothing is as sweet going so long nowhere i can ramble or could change my mind could slow When I was done transplanting, I made sure that uh, they had a sufficient water and uh, I put them back into the greenhouse. I covered the greenhouse and uh, we were ready. So in my small kitchen garden, I am growing some kales, I have got some spinach, I have got some cabbage, I've got some uh, onions, I've got some strawberry, I have some chives, I have some carrots and uh, yeah, this is um, just some basic vegetables that i like to have especially during winter because uh, i do not get this type of vegetables in my local supermarket so why not grow my own <laughs> And on this day, the temperatures had really, really dropped and it was going to snow any minute. So I had to finish off quickly and uh, cover them up and yeah, just secure, make sure that they were safe. And as you can see, the next day, it snowed. Yes, it fell down. So it was snowing everywhere. But it was lovely. We hadn't had snow for some time. So it was good for the kids to come out and play in the snow. We had loads of fun. My crops were well protected in their little greenhouse. And uh, it was nice and lovely. We enjoyed the snow. We made, we, we actually made a huge snowballs. Yes, they were huge. They were really huge. <laughs> it was fun. And we also made snowmen. Yeah, it was fun making snowmen, playing in the snow. And we didn't leave and forget about our plants. No, no, no. How could we forget our plants? So we gave them a piece of that snow. Yes, so they can just suck in that water slowly and uh, they will not be needing any more moisture any more watering for another two weeks even so yeah this was wonderful it was a good experience and i enjoyed it so that is all we had for you today 
thank you so much guys for joining us we hope you enjoyed that and uh, we are delighted to have you as part of our family continue supporting us continue subscribing and we'll see you in the next one Bye.